The influence of diet on the development of acne. So far there is no clear answer. Several studies indicate that eating foods and sweets with carbohydrates that are quickly consumed leads to high blood sugar levels. The high blood sugar stimulates the release of insulin and an insulin-like growth factor IGF-1. This has an immediate effect on the sebaceous glands and stimulates the outer skin layer to increase cell growth. Ultimately, this increases the risk of acne formation. It is also believed that sometimes dairy products can be unfavorable. Cow's milk contains many substances that contribute to the growth of the calf and in this way influence the sebaceous glands. But you have to say that the influence of diet on acne has not yet been clearly proven and therefore no clear recommendations or bans can be made. However, everyone affected is free to change their diet for a while and wait for the effect. Acne has nothing to do with poor hygiene. On the contrary, intensive cleaning of the skin is more likely to cause irritation and can make acne worse. Water and economical use of care products with normal skin pH is sufficient to clean the skin thoroughly. Skin bacteria can colonize the blocked sebaceous glands, e.g. the acne bacterium, Propionobacterium acnes, and lead to inflammation, but they are not the only cause. Often there is even an inflammation without detection of the pathogen, i.e. the skin becomes inflamed and pus forms without any germ being involved. There are other germs that are sometimes detectable in acne patients, these are certain other bacteria, fungi, and rarely a type of mite. However, a smear from the skin or pimples is rarely done because it usually does not affect the therapy decision. A look at the distribution and appearance of the pimples is often enough for the doctor to suspect what type of inflammation it is and then suggest a therapy accordingly close. Predisposing factors. Hormonal changes in the body can trigger or worsen acne. Such changes are typical of young boys and girls women and girls, all about ovulation and menstruation pregnant women stressed people people who take certain medications such as B take cortisone. Acne can arise from various causes. For most people, skin problems are triggered by hormonal changes, especially during puberty. In this phase of life, both boys and girls increasingly form androgens. These male sex hormones promote the development of acne. The skin changes typical of the disease originate from the sebum glands, which are located all over the skin and mostly lead to hair follicles that surround the hair root. They produce a fatty secretion called sebum, which protects the skin and keeps it supple. The increased androgen production leads to an overfunction of the sebum glands. At the same time, the formation of horn material in the exit ducts of the glands is stimulated, which clogs them. Since the sebum can then no longer flow outwards, the blackheads filled with a sebum horn mixture form first. As a result, a germ called Propionobacterium acnes has improved growth conditions there and can, therefore, reproduce well. The bacteria, which are among the natural skin dwellers, then cause inflammation, which is manifested by pimples, pustules, and papules. Formation of a pimple, if horn scales block the outflow of the sebum, the secretion builds up. Bacteria multiply and ignite the skin, blackheads. Pus penetrates the surface and the surrounding tissue, pimples. Formation of a pimple, if horn scales block the outflow of the sebum, the secretion builds up. Bacteria multiply and ignite the skin, blackheads. Pus penetrates the surface and the surrounding tissue, pimples. However, not all adolescents get the disease. And adults 30 and older can also develop acne. This shows that in addition to hormonal changes in puberty, there must be other factors that cause or exacerbate skin disease. These included Certain medications such as cortisone preparations, psychotropic drugs, androgen-containing substances, anabolic steroids, vitamin B preparations or anti-epilepsy products. Care and cosmetic products, especially with ingredients that promote constipation of the sebaceous glands. Stress and other mental stress. Smoke. Obesity, is considered a risk factor especially for acne inversa mechanical stimuli, for example from clothing that is too tight or the chin strap of bicycle and motorcycle helmets. Nutrition, especially high glycemic foods that cause the blood sugar level to skyrocket chocolate, chips, sweet baked goods, soft drinks, honey, but also a high consumption of milk and dairy products worsen the skin condition, according to some people. 
However, the connection between diet and acne has not been scientifically proven. Genetic predisposition, if one or both parents have or had acne, the risk of illness in their children increases. Climatic influences, such as a hot and humid climate even during pregnancy, the woman's skin may deteriorate, which is sometimes referred to as pregnancy acne. It is extremely rare that acne is triggered by the pill. In fact, many birth control pills even have a positive effect on blemished skin, blackheads or pimples and are therefore used to treat acne in patients who want to use the pill anyway. The most common form, acne vulgaris, is mostly due to hormones. The cause is the male sex hormone, called androgens. These are produced not only in men, but also to a lesser extent in women, especially during puberty. However, since they occur in large quantities in men, men are also more affected by the skin disease. The androgens stimulate the sebum glands of the skin to produce more sebum. This sebum is normally released through the pores. During the hormonal change in puberty, however, the production of horn material increases, which closes the execution ducts. The sebum accumulates under the skin surface and so-called closed blackheads develop. The whitish-looking sebum can pour into this. At some point, the skin tears open on the execution duct. The blackhead turns black due to contact with atmospheric oxygen. That means, blackheads are open blackheads. The sebum in the blackheads attracts bacteria. They break down the sebum and produce fission products that promote inflammatory reactions flowering pimples, and stimulate the formation of new blackheads. Hormone fluctuations occur not only during puberty but also during pregnancy, in the menopause, menopause, and when the contraceptive pill is discontinued. At these times, as well as during menstruation, when the skin is increasingly oily, women often experience an outbreak of acne again.